OK, welcome to question number two, part A, the work solution then to this paper. So first of all, I've copied down what f of x is and we've got to simplify this. So I'm going to put an identical sign and with something like this, we notice that this quadratic expression underneath this fraction can be factorised. So start by copying down the first term, 2x plus 3 over x plus 2. And we have minus 9 plus 2x all over. Now when we factorise this quadratic expression, it will be two brackets. It's got to be a 2x and an x to multiply to give 2x squared. And then for the minus 2, if I look carefully, I'm going to go for minus 1 and then plus 2. This will multiply out then to give the 2x squared plus 3x minus 2. Next I want to choose a denominator that I can express both fractions in. And I notice that x plus 2 already is a factor of this particular quadratic expression here. So that means that because x plus 2 is already a factor of this, then I'm going to take as my lowest common multiple on the bottom here, 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. OK, so in order now to make this fraction here into an equivalent fraction, having this as its denominator, what I've got to do is multiply the x plus 2 by 2x minus 1 so that it will share the same denominator. But if I multiply the bottom here by 2x minus 1, I must do the same to the top in order to keep the same ratio. So therefore, what I'm going to have is 2x minus 1 being multiplied by all of 2x plus 3. OK? Now when it comes to this fraction, the denominator is the same as the denominator here. So all I've got to do is literally multiply the top here by 1 in order to keep the equivalence. have got to be careful though. There's a minus and I need to really just say that I'm doing one lot of the 9 plus 2x. So I must make sure I put that in brackets, 9 plus 2x. I can see that that's going to be a place where people are going to trip up. OK, so I hope you've taken care over that. OK, so this is identical to... Now I can expand the first pair of brackets here. So we get 2x times 2x, that's 4x squared. Then 2x times 3, that's 6x. Minus 1 times 2x, minus 2x. And minus 1 times 3, that's negative 3. Now we have minus 1 here times 9, so that's minus 9. And minus 1 times the 2x, so that's minus 2x. So hopefully you've taken care over this section, got the right signs here. And this is all over don't have to multiply this out, it's already factorised, that's good. So just leave it in the factorised state. So that's 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. And what's this identical to? Well, OK, we'll put the line there. Uh, let's clean up the top. We have 4x squared, that's all we've got, 4x squared. Then 6x minus 2x. 4x minus another 2x, that's 2x. And then minus 3 minus 9, well that's minus 12. And all that is going over 2x minus 1 times x plus 2. Now, looking at the answer, okay, I'm getting some clues already. I can see that it's got to be all over 2x minus 1. So the x plus 2 has somehow disappeared. And so that's given me a clue that the top ought to factorise so that I should be able to cancel out that x plus 2 factor. So looking towards the top, 
I notice that 2 is a common factor. So I'm going to pull 2 out as a common factor, OK? And then factorize by doing that. Whoops, let's just do that. So inside would go 2x squared and then plus x minus 6. And that will all be over 2x minus 1, x plus 2. OK, having problems with these brackets by the looks of it. There you go. All right, now identical to 2. Now I can factorize this quadratic expression. So if we factorize that, a couple of brackets. As I say, I'm assuming it's going to factorize if that x plus 2 is to cancel. So, OK, now knowing that I'm looking for an x plus 2 to uh, cancel out, that's given me a few clues as well. I know that there's going to be an x plus 2 down here, OK, working ahead of the problem. So that means that's got to be a 2x, and this has got to be minus 3. OK, multiply that out, you'll get 2x squared plus x minus 6. Then this is going over 2x minus 1 and x plus 2. And you can see that x plus 2 is a common factor, so we can cancel that out. It's just go goes into that once, x plus 2 into x plus 2 also goes once. And then normally I would leave this actually as 2 bracket 2x minus 3, but when we've got to show that f of x is 4x minus 6, you can see that by multiplying this out, I get 4x minus 6 all over then 2x minus 1. And there you have it. That's f of x.